Melbourne's art world is aghast after a construction worker accidentally destroyed a significant piece of street art. The pioneering British artist Banksy had painted the stencil image on a wall in Paran. It was thought to be worth tens of thousands of dollars. Now, as Stephanie March reports, there are calls for an official register to protect Melbourne's street art. A hole may seem an appropriate place for a rat, but not here on Greville Street in Paran. They have unconsciously taken a part of history, which is really important, uh, to do with street art, and just destroyed it. It's become such a like, street art destination, um, so it's really sad. The parachuting rat was an unassuming but significant part of the area's landscape. That was until renovations started to turn this shop into a cafe. I just said to him, you know, do you know what you just did? And he didn't, he, he didn't. I said, you know, that was a Banksy and he didn't know what a Banksy was. It was a costly mistake. Banksy's art's worth tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this piece was no exception. That piece taken off with the bricks and maybe 40,000. It's the latest in a long line of Banksy's disappearing from Melbourne streetscapes. Council workers accidentally painted over another Banksy rat in a city laneway and this CBD scuba diver was vandalised despite being covered with perspex. Many locals are furious the Banksy's been destroyed. Now they want the council to take steps to ensure that other significant street art doesn't meet the same fate. It's part of the community. There's lots of different age groups that really get into it. So instead of being like a zero tolerance kind of approach, you know, they need to embrace certain styles. Stonington Council says it may consider setting up an official registry of street art. Stephanie March, ABC News, Melbourne.